Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 4, Lesson 15, and that means that we're working with quadrilaterals. So we're going to look at uh, quadrilaterals that have parallel sides, that have perpendicular lines, and that have angles that are or aren't specified. So we're going to figure out a lot about quadrilaterals today. So let's take a look at a few of the problems that you've got in your homework tonight. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do problem number one, which asks you to use the word bank, oh, excuse me, to ask you to use the word bank to name each shape, being as specific as possible. I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. Once I start answering one or two of these problems, then that'll pretty much put the other, uh, the other questions um, in your hands too easily. So I'm going to let you handle that. But I am going to look at problem number two below. Explain the attribute that makes a square a special rectangle. Wow, this is a tough one. Okay, so it makes a square a special kind of rectangle. Well, let's see. Is it about their angles? Like if we look at uh, 1C and we look at this, that looks like a square and it has right angles. But you know what? These rectangles, they have square, they have right angles at their corners too. Four right angles right at their corners. So that's not it. Um, what else is it then? So the angles are the same. It must be something about the sides. Oh, that's right. A square, right, a square has four sides that are the same length, whereas in a rectangle, it doesn't have to be, they don't have to be the same length, right? Two of the sides have to be the same as each other, and the other two sides have to be the same as each other, but not all four sides have to be the same like they do in a square. I think that's going to be my answer. A square has four equal sides. where a rectangle has, let's see, how can we say that, it has two pairs of two equal sides. Ah, excellent. I think that reads pretty well. So a square has four equal sides, where a rectangle has two pairs of two equal sides. Right, that's the special attribute, right? Because they all the angle part is all the same. Awesome. Let's take a look at another problem. Let's take a look at number five. Number five asks us to construct the following figures based on the given attributes. Give a name to each figure you construct. Be as specific as possible. Let's see, I'm going to take a look at, uh, at B, at 5B. I want to create a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides. Wow, okay. Two sets of parallel sides. Well, I've always liked the, um, I've always liked the shapes that have, that are sort of like this. All right? Kind of like that. In fact, let me, let me tidy those up just a little bit by getting my extra drawing off there. I always like shapes like this. Let's see if we have that, if those are two parallel sides. Yeah, if I look at it, this side and this side are parallel, so I'm going to give them a little arrow mark like that to indicate that those are parallel lines. And if we look at the other one over here, the other two sides right there and there, right, those look parallel as well. So I'm going to give those double arrow marks to indicate that those two sides are parallel. So let's see, do we have a quadrilateral? Hmm. A quadrilateral has four sides, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so I think it's a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides. There's one set of parallel sides, and there's another set of parallel sides. I think that's it. And I think that we have a name for that, and that is a parallelogram. Right? I think that's the one that we've discussed today, that we've created a parallelogram. It's a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides. Awesome. I'm going to let you take a look at 5A. I'm going to take have you take a look at the other problems in this problem set, including problems 2 and 3 uh, and the rest of 5. There's a 5C and a 5D, and I wish you the best of luck as you work through your homework, and I hope to see you again in another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems.